Hi, my name is Will Hayward. I'm the VP of Europe at BuzzFeed. Uh, delighted to be here at The Drum Live. So the key element of a branded content campaign is really to think about what value you're delivering to the audience. So why is it that what you're creating is going to be good enough that people are going to enjoy it and share it with their friends? It's quite hard to predict, but predominantly, uh, you probably have to think about humor, maybe, think about nostalgia, uh, or even think about some information. What's the thing that you're going to give your audience that's going to be interesting and valuable, so much so they're going to enjoy it, and uh, like I said, choose to share it with their friends. When you're creating a piece of content for a brand, identity is absolutely crucial. You really need to think about who you're connecting with and why it is that this is really going to mean something to them. So we work with brands and we think, who are you trying to reach? Uh, what's, what is it specific about them that we can give some real insights and show them we thought about this content and we thought about why they're going to find it valuable, why they're going to connect with it and why they're going to share it with their group. We've worked on lots of different pieces of branded content in the 12 months that we've been in market. Uh, one piece that we've really enjoyed working on is the campaign that we've recently done for Fosters. So Fosters clearly talks a lot about Australianness, uh, talks about uh, mateship, being friends, good times, and all those sorts of things. So we partnered with them to create uh, funny stuff all about um, kind of Australian, uh, Australia and insights all about that. Um, but then also things like uh, hashtags that only best mates need. So funny little things like that that we can combine with a GIF that's... Uh, clearly a value to Fosters and puts sort of Fosters brand in context, but still uh, enjoyable enough that, that people would uh, enjoy it and, and share it around. Why do people respond well to lists? So uh, there's one answer, which is lists have always been around. People have always enjoyed lists. Uh, the Ten Commandments, all those sorts of things. Uh, lists are nothing new. Um, but additionally, uh, it's, it, it's well known that we're in an age of decreasing attention span and lists are a way of creating content in a way that is um, uh, easy to consume, uh, measured, people know how much of it there's going to be, um, but also fun and kind of of the moment. So we, we, we think lists are great, uh, but we're also not overly attached to them. If, if, they, if it comes a time that people aren't enjoying them anymore, we're, we're more than happy to move on. I think distribution is, is clearly key to, to branded content. So uh, you, you can have a wonderful comedian, you can put him in an empty room and he can tell the best jokes in the world, but there's going to be no impact. So we work really hard to create branded content that's fun and enjoyable, um, but distribution is really key. So it's key in that you, you need to think why someone would share it, because sharing is the distribution mechanism. Um, but it's key in that you also need to have media partners that have big enough scale to, to kind of kick that off and, and get it out to a big audience. So uh, clearly there's a lot of excitement around right now around uh, content, around native and all these things, um, but distribution really is uh, absolutely critical to what we're doing.